Alright, so it is Thursday, May 9th, 0912. Uh, the ship is currently transiting through the Suez Canal. Uh, I think it's like a 12 hour uh, evolution, 12 hour event. The Suez Canal, it's, it's like a little, imagine like a river. I can't really get a good footage of it because uh, you're not really allowed to be like have your cell phone out with anything Bluetooth. Um, you can only record stuff without a Bluetooth device. Uh, some from, from where the aircraft carrier is to the size, it's like it's pretty narrow. I would say it's about like 20 feet of 20, 30 feet of space. Um, like somebody could literally stand on the land and throw a piece of rock and it'll hit, hit the ship. Uh, so it's pretty close, um, but there's always like a convoy and like no one's really gonna do it because of how the land's kind of set up. Uh, so there's that, and uh, it's gonna finish towards the end of the day. And throughout the whole day, the use of water is really secured. So the showering is turned off and uh, flushing water, like flushing toilets. Um, you know when you when you poop. Yeah, they, they recommend flush, but when you pee, uh, the, the word, the saying is, when it's yellow, let it mellow, so let it sit there and just keep peeing in the toilet. Which, when you gotta conserve water, you gotta conserve water. Because you can't just like throw out like poop and pee and like, you know, dish water uh, into the uh, little river, little stream, I guess, because when you do it out in the ocean, it's a bit better. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Today actually should have been uh, I should have been in Croatia up until like the end of Friday. Uh, today would have just been another day of adventure, just like running around all of Croatia. And I would have been so happy, but here I am still on the ship. Uh, just, I guess it sucks, but just gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm uh, gonna spend more time than I really expected out in the Middle East. Later on today, possibly, or maybe tomorrow, I have to give training on personal finance, uh, which is kind of exciting. I didn't really want, I didn't really know if I wanted to take that, uh, only because uh, it's not really a Navy topic. The person that the training petty officer, you know, asked me like, hey, you know, do you want to talk about this topic? And I thought about it, you know, it's like, oh, well, it's not really Navy related. I don't know if I should talk about it, but then I said, you know what? It's a good chance for me to speak in front of people, test out my public speaking skills, and uh, also, you know, accept the challenge of being able to provide value to people as much as I can. Um, because personal finance is something that I really am into. So, uh, I've created some slides, it's black and white, so you can't really see. Actually, no, it's not actually black and white. Uh, created some slides. I was uh, just practicing, going over. Uh, how I'm gonna say and deliver some stuff. Some slides that I wanna keep in there, some slides that I wanna take out. So that's what I've been doing. You know, almost the third way there for me. Which is good, uh, time is flying by. You know, soon it'll be June and my four years in the Navy, actually. And uh, is it this week that I get paid? No, next week. I thought, for, I thought, for some reason, I thought today was Monday. Next week, I get paid. Which would be amazing, because uh, right now, it's considered a tax-free zone. And the next month is my four years in the Navy, so I get my four-year kicker as an E3, an E4. And hopefully, by the end of this month, I become an E5, because the test results come out. And I don't know exactly where I'm going to be, but I might actually be in this room recording and then... There's the one MC, which is like a speakerphone where they call names. I'll be here waiting for the results. They'll call my name and I'll celebrate and I'll probably have a good meal. Uh, some of the meals that I got, celebrate. And uh, yeah, right now, I think financially, I have right about $56,000 invested in the stock market. So with the current goal of uh, investing or saving $2,000 a month, so there's uh, the rest of May, which is about $1,600.
because I got some tax-free period in there. So it's June, July, August, October, November. No, I forgot September. So June, July, uh, August. I see my brain. My I'm slowly. My thinking is slowed down because I, I'm, I'm tired. Uh, June, July, August, uh, September, October, and this November. So I pull in sometime in November. So that's six months, six times twelve. Two times six is twelve. Um, and then there's some money that I can make in between the tax free zones. I get more. So. Hopefully, I, I get right about seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars by the end of this year. That's the goal. Uh, and speaking of, there's an Amazon Prime box that I'm looking at in front of me. Yesterday, uh, the the helicopters came in and dropped off a lot of stuff, uh, mail and packages and food because the ship was running out of food. They were really bad. They were like barely giving us any food because the ship was running out. Uh, I ordered like $170 worth of stuff, so I should be getting that next big uh, RAS, which stands for Replenishment at Sea, uh, where there's like a ship side by side, you know, with a conveyor belt sending stuff like pallets of food over, or you know, a ship side by side and there's a helicopter that's flying and dropping off stuff and you know, stuff like that. Which I used to do, not anymore. You know, thank goodness, it's, that work kind of sucks. Especially now when they're going to be in Africa and all that kind of stuff, Middle East, and it's going to be super hot. Not worth it. I'm glad I got out there. That's about it for today. Um, I'm going to pack it in for now. It's 15 minutes in. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, hope you have a great Navy day. You, Kim, signing out. Yeah.